Greetings, dear ones. A few days ago, a wondrous star shone forth. The conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, thought by Kepler and other astronomers to be the star that the Magi saw, occurs every 20 years, but rarely are the planets so closely aligned that they appear as a single brilliant celestial body. The last time this occurred in 1623, James I was King of England, William Shakespeare had recently died, and settlers were arriving at the Plymouth Colony. The modern age was taking shape. But even though the telescope had recently been discovered, the event probably passed unnoticed because it was so close to the sun. Not since 1226 have people gazed up to see something as brilliant as we just witnessed. And there's more to the story than the rarity of this event. The great conjunction of 1220 took place on the winter solstice of the Northern Hemisphere and in the tropical zodiac at zero degrees Aquarius. Ruled by Saturn and Uranus, Aquarius brings both the individual and the collective. The individual critical care nurse working round the clock to save a single life the collective effort to wear masks and social distance in order to protect others. The individual Greta Thunberg with her superpower, the collective youth organizing climate strikes around the world. If the skies were telling us something, perhaps it was this. Today, you face unprecedented challenges, not only because of the pandemic and the related setbacks in the economy. The pandemic itself is a symptom of much larger problems. The converging crises of climate emergency, species extinction, and environmental degradation. You cannot meet the challenges that confront you by doing things the same old way as you have been doing since last we met. Your so-called K-shaped recovery has simply meant that during the pandemic, the rich got much richer and the poor got poorer. COVID was not the great leveler. Black, brown and indigenous people have suffered much more, deepening the cracks that were always present in Western societies and in the world as a whole. We are here together at zero degrees of Aquarius to tell you to let go of old crystallized patterns that have never really served you. It is time for a fresh start, one based on liberty, equality, sisterhood and brotherhood. Collective challenges call for collective solutions. Neither individualism, nor nationalism, nor any kind of me first mentality will get you through these crises. You will stand or fall, thrive or collapse as an entire human society. It will take great patience and great perseverance to change things. Since our last visit, empires have risen and fallen, leaving havoc behind them. Wars of ever increasing horror have been fought the world has become hostage to the threat of nuclear annihilation. Indigenous peoples 
have been forced off their ancestral lands. Genocide, slavery, and exploitation of people and the environment have been the order of business. Mighty old growth forests have fallen to the chainsaw, prairies have been plowed and rivers dammed. Structural racism casts its shadow over many of the world's societies, coming to the awareness of millions this year with the horrific murder of George Floyd. We are here in our brilliance with all our power to uplift you and inspire all. Know that we shine as brightly on the miserable flooded tents of displaced people in Idlib, Syria, as we do upon the mansions of the rich. We shine on the sprawling Rohingya refugee camp, a Cox's Bazaar, Bangladesh, as we do upon the great cities of wealthy nations. We shine upon the homeless camps and upon the suburbs, upon the laborers picking tomatoes and the shareholders profiting from their toil. Today, with great enthusiasm and great patience, with inspiration and with discipline, please come together as a human race to meet the existential threats that confront you. And I wish you a year of happiness and joy and may peace and justice prevail throughout our world. Blessings and Happy New Year. <laughs>